Okay, okay, Dr. Mindy here, and I have brought on with me Dr. Sonia and Dr. Caitlin today to talk about our experience with interviewing Dr. Zach Bush. So if you are new to the Women in Wellness podcast, the three of us have a podcast we've been doing for about a year now, uh, talking about topics that are really important to women uh, in this overscheduled, busy, crazy life that many of us are living. And uh, we had the pleasure of interviewing Dr. Zach Bush uh, a few, what I guess it was like a month ago now, um, mm -hmm. where we talked about the microbiome, we talked about sharing your microbiome with your animals and your spouse, and we talked about sex. So some of you may have watched it or listened to it. Um, and we got a lot of feedback from people that they wanted to know what our takeaways were and how we were going to implement some of the strategies and things that we learned in interviewing him. So who wants to start? I could start. Um, so for me, I think the big thing that really hit me, I was in tears a lot when we were um, interviewing him and when he started speaking about um, extinction in 70 years, if we don't change our ways, that's what really hit home for me because that's my, that's my kid's generation. Yeah. So for me, it was like, how do I take this back to our world and our family so that we can create change going forward? And, you know, and a big part of it, I mean, his answer at the end was like, so the answer really is to have more sex. That was what he said. And it's not just about that physical act, but it's really about what that brings out in our relationship and how from that relationship then we affect the rest of the world. And I really felt like he spoke very yogically, so it really hit home for me. And the way he spoke about what women really need like that movie, What Women Want. I don't know if they really have it right, but Dr. Zach Bush does. Yep. And so one of the things that we implemented really at that time of just having that intimate time in the evening. So like phones are put away, um, the TV's turned off early so that, you know, you're just with each other and whether you're reading together or you're talking to one another, but just creating more of that space and having it in a routine. Cause I find our world today is so busy. Like you said, Dr. Mindy, in the beginning there, that we have to schedule everything out now. So that was a big takeaway for me of just like making sure that that's happening every single day, no matter what. Yeah. What about you? Yeah. Um, so I really didn't see our conversation going that route with him when we originally picked that topic or he suggested it. I was very surprised. I did learn a ton. Now, for those of you that haven't listened to it, you do need to go to it and truthfully, there's probably going to be a lot of you out there that might be uncomfortable with the topic. I know parts of it. I was like, Oh God, we're, what, what do you mean? Um, because when he said, I haven't heard a single lady, not like what I'm going to say next. And I was sitting there going, I don't like that. I don't like that. Tell them what it was. Yeah. <laughs> well, I don't like my feet being touched at all. Um, like, but it's that soft caress, you know, when your feet like touch in bed and it's that, uh, it gives me the heebie-jeebies. And so <laughs> um, I asked my husband to listen to it and he goes, well, Caitlin, you're screwed. You don't like yeah. your feet being touched. And I was like, well, let's, let's try this. Like, let's see what, um, what this can actually do. And really what it is, is I think it has everything to do with the intention and the actual pressure and not just like that ticklish kind of feeling. Mm -hmm. So I can get over that. I'm not a fan and I'm going to get real personal here <laughs> of oral. Uh, not my jam, <laughs> but, but according to um, that push, according now with that being said, not everything has to be your thing and you don't have to do everything or implement everything that he's suggesting, right? Like that's, that's not the takeaway behind this. Um, but my big takeaway was that, you know, for us, we want to have kids. And so it seems like um, intimacy is just more of a, we have to do this, we have to do this. And it's not intimate anymore. It's like, you want a kid, you just have to do this. And whether you feel like it or not, baloney. So we totally changed our mindset and what, um, how we look at being intimate and if one of us isn't feeling it, even if it is that time of the month, 
whatever, it's not worth it because truthfully, I'm not going to enjoy it. He's not going to enjoy it. And I really think that's why a lot of uh, couples who are trying to have a kid end up presenting the whole act of being intimate because it's more of a forced thing versus something that you truly want to do and feel inclined to do. So that was my big takeaway is making it more of an act of wanting to do it because you love the person versus feeling like you have to because you're in that relationship. Yeah. Yeah. I think that's, I think that's so well said. Um, and I've heard that from a lot of couples, young couples that are trying to get pregnant, that it's like, you know, you're measuring everything and you're trying to make it all happen in a certain time period. And I will tell you as somebody who has, you know, two kids, one that's launched into the world, that I feel like I've spent the last 18 years going, okay, they're asleep now, or we have, an, we have a short window here. How about we go now? And um, our whole life, uh, you know, our whole intimate life has been revolved around when the kids are not there or the kids are asleep. And I think what I, my takeaway from uh, his discussion was how it really has to be an experience. There has to be, especially for women, a connection that starts hours before there's any kind of physical connection. And uh, I think it ties in so well with the rushing woman syndrome and how distracted as working women we can get um, and how checked out from the whole experience. Uh, and when we check, I think for us, when we had a really good discussion just about when you check back in, when you, when you actually put down the devices, when you really look at this as something that is so beneficial, not only for your relationship, but for humanity, mm -hmm. it, it, it changes everything. So he exact just gave such a global perspective of sex. Mm -hmm. I've, I literally have never heard somebody talk about sex mm -hmm. the yeah. way that he did. It was beautiful. And it's all about the subtleties too, right? Like you said, just paying attention again, because we're so distracted all day, whether it's with the kids or with our career or just our Facebook feed or whatever it is. We're not paying attention to the subtleties of like, you know, them brushing against you or whatever it is, you know, like seeing them for who they are again, too. Because if you go back to when you first were together and, you know, like ev everything would um, make them feel more attractive to you. But when yeah. you get busy in your life, like you, you forget, you forget what that feeling was like. So paying attention again. So paying attention to the subtleties of like, oh, they are trying because right. sometimes they can be and we're not we're not paying attention to it. And then, you know, in their minds, they've been trying. But in our minds, we're too busy. So right. I think just what you said there was really beautiful is just like getting back to that, just paying attention and getting back to the subtleties of the relationship is so important. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. So if you haven't watched the episode, we encourage you to go listen to it. Um, there are actually two Zach Bush episodes um, that we did on the Women in Wellness podcast. The first one was fascinating, too, and it was all about the microbiome and how we share microbiomes. I thought that was cra crazy interesting. Uh, and the second one, I really I think the three of us would agree. Sit down with your partner and listen to it because great discussions can be had. I actually think it's a it's a podcast that's better listened to. Uh, with your partner because it will open up the doors for some great communication. Mm -hmm. So, don't you I guys don't feel like you have to implement everything, right? I think the big take home from it is more just like what you guys are saying, the mindset and the intimacy level, whatever that looks like for you. But coming back to you being a couple and being present with one another when when you guys are together, I think that was my biggest take home. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So anyways, so if you want if you want to know more about our women in wellness podcast, just put women in wellness in the comment section. We'll invite you into our group. Um, if you go to iTunes and you find women and N, it is women N wellness, uh, you can download these episodes and start listening to it. And we've got some cool episodes coming up. We've interviewed Katie Wells, the wellness mama, and she has a new book coming out called uh, DIY Project, something like, well, I don't know what the actual official title is, but it's all about, you know, how to make, uh, have a toxic free home and do everything yourself. Um, so we'll be going through that. So fun stuff coming up. Mm -hmm. So, okay, ladies, have an hey. awesome afternoon and yeah. 
as always, we hope this helps.